Hey you guys, it's Cassandra72 and I'm coming to you with my Rite Aid haul. So I should have done Rite Aid all week long, right? Okay. But first of all, before I get into that, I want to thank my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. Welcome. And I want to welcome everyone to the video. So again, as I was saying, this is my Rite Aid haul that I should have done much earlier in the week um, because I did see about this on uh, Coupon Like a Man. Thanks, Rob. Probably would never watch my channel, but hey, I love him. Got to give him the props for this particular transaction right here. So, you guys, I tried to make this as aesthetically pleasing as possible, but I have 56 packages of pads here, and I'm not very creative. So, yeah, there was really no way for me to make this look good, but at least that I could think of. So, but this is everything, okay? All those packages of pads, okay? It's a towel. It's a towel pad. It's just a towel. Yeah. <laughs> and it goes on and on and on. But anyway, so like I said, I have a total of 56 packages of pads here. And I have paid a total of $12.50. All right, so for 56 pads, it works out to about 22 23 cents each. Not a bad deal whatsoever. All right, so I'm going to tell you how it is that um, we got this deal. So, like I said, I love Rob. Love how his mind works. So, early in the week, we saw that he did a video that um, when you... For, well, first of all, on with Stay Free, they, are two, they were on sale two for five this week. And then when you buy $20 worth, you will get a $5 plus up. And you can do that four times per card. Also, there is a Catalina deal, though, that when you purchase four, you'll get back a $3 Catalina. All right? So, the way that's going to work for you is that then this is what's going to happen. And then we had dollar coupons from these from the 4 7 Red Plum. We got two that week. And for my area, it was the one that had healthy essentials on the front. All right, so at two for five, you're going to do four of them. That's $10 for the transaction, all right? Then you're going to use a dollar on each one. It's going to take it down to $6. Then in the um, Rite Aid um, flyer this week, we had $2 coupon off two, $2 off two. So we're down to $6 with our four manufacturer's coupons. You're going to be, if you're able to use two of the $2 um, coupons from Rite Aid, then that's going to take you down to $2 plus tax that you're going to pay out of pocket, then get back a $3 Catalina. So, this is what your first transaction is going to look like. All right, so we have the stay phrase, and you see all the 250s, and then there's my dollar coupons coming off each one of those. All right, then right there is one of the $2 um, coupons for um, Rite Aid. And then there's the second one coming off there at the bottom. So, so total becomes $2. The tax is $0.75. Cents. All right. So, you pay $2.75, saving a total of $13.96. All right. Then, the second transaction you're going to do, um, oh, and you get back your $3 Catalina. All right. So, there's a variety of ways that you can then do the next one. So, if you're going to go ahead and purchase four more, you're going to do that. This time, however, you have um, a $3 Catalina. Um, so you can use still the four, um, the coupons for the four um, stay free or, and throw in something for a dollar or just opt to use a $3 Catalina and now just three of your stay free coupons. And either way, it should end up looking something like this. All right, so then again, they're all two fifty each. Two fifty dollar coming off two fifty. There you see the three dollar Catalina that I used. All right, two fifty dollar coupon. There's a two dollar Rite Aid coupon. Two fifty for the pads. One dollar Rite Aid coupon. Um, one dollar uh manufacturer's coupon and two dollar Rite Aid coupon. So there you see, again, there's one. There's two of the Rite Aid coupons. And this time I only use one, two, three of the $1 coupons. 
threw in the three dollar Catalina. Subtotal came down to zero, and I paid seventy five cents. And then I got back my five dollar plus up. All right. So then I just continued to do several more transactions. I actually have a total of fourteen transactions, and as I stated, they then totaled um, twelve dollars and fifty cents. I did have some trouble at one store where the Catalina actually did not print. So he kind of did something funky to refund it. But he, oh, he basically like rang up a transaction, but then like refunded it out. And um, so that my Catalina would print because it did not print at one register, but it printed at another. All right. So just trying to get my stuff together here. So like I said, I told you guys that. I did 14 transactions, which totaled $12 and 50 cents. Okay. And then on some of the coupons, we're getting a $4. I mean, on your receipts, you're getting a $4 off lemon seal. All right. And I'm trying to get myself together here. Should have really done this ahead of time. But I just really want to show you guys what I ended up with. So... Yeah. All right. So, like I said, after each set of two, you're going to get back a $5 plus. So, so, I ended up with five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30. I was thinking it was 35, but it's actually not. I uh because I maxed out one card at oh yes I did. Here it is on the floor. And 35. So I ended up paying $12.50 for 56 packages of pads, but got back $35 in plus ups and left with my $3 Catalina to use at another Rite Aid or um, go on to use at another store because these just are manufacturer's coupons that you can use wherever, you know, um, that you shouldn't have any issues. But definitely if you think that you're going to have some issues because it's at Rite Aid, definitely you can use it somewhere that does take manufacturer's coupons so or um, competitor's coupons. So, yeah, that's it. I know I'm kind of all over the place. I know you guys were wondering what I was doing this week. I really wasn't doing anything. I kind of got lazy this week. My daughter's birthday was Tuesday the 4th. Mine was Wednesday the 5th. You know, I did the little Chuck E. Cheese thing with her on Tuesday. And my birthday, I came home and I slept. That's what I wanted to do for my birthday. Last year for 40, I wanted to go out couponing. This year for 41, I just came in and I went to sleep. So, I haven't really done much. Like I said, I should have done this deal all week. I am really shocked to come in on a Saturday. And a Saturday, oh my gosh, starting out after 5 o'clock. Because, yeah, my first transaction didn't, I think it wasn't until like 5.20. Something like that, like 5.30 or whatever we're shopping. So, yeah, first transaction after 5 on a Saturday, last day of the sale. And be able to find... 56 packages of pass. Oh my god, that was just God. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, I'm giddy, I'm all over the place because I'm excited. So, if you was wondering where I was, I wasn't doing anything, but I came back and made up for the entire week with one store, I think. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. And I wanted to go ahead and tell you about this so you can go out here and get that done. Um, because today will be the last day of that. And then the only real issue I had was at the very last store. Um, the manager, instead of really trying to address an issue, I was with my girlfriend slash sister. Yeah, she was trying to get a card and trying to get assistance on how to opt out of having her plus ups go directly to her card, but rather print. And um Instead of coming over to answer the young lady's question about that, he was also concerned about looking in the ad because he saw that we had Stay Free to tell us that we could only use one coupon. 
He said, yeah, you can get as many as you want, a two for five, but we can only use the one coupon. He don't even think it's going to go through. I said, well, yeah, I understand. If that's the case, then I'll just, you know, I'll just leave it here. I'll just take my business to another store or just basically be done for the day. Because, I mean, I've done it at other stores. And, yes, the coupon does say one per customer. So, your mileage may vary. And if I wasn't going to argue the point, but then he became very um, almost apologetic and said that, you know, he would go ahead and he would do it for me this time, you know, but then he would have to call corporate and see if he was able to do that. You know, first he was going to get approval, but then he said he's going to do it this time, but he will just have to check and see if it's okay. You know, and my thing is, you knew from the beginning that it would do that. And then he was so adamant about getting me to come over to his line. And then when I went to his line, the Catalina did not print. So, yeah, Catalina didn't print. And then come to find out they had problems with that machine all week. So, you know a Catalina is supposed to print for this, too. Why would you have me come over to that machine? So, he said he would refund me. But then he said, no, I can't refund you because you use coupons. But like I said, it shouldn't have been an issue because the young man at the other store, he just he just did a transaction basically where he rang me up. I actually had already cashed out. But what he did was he just took some pads, he rang them up, then he boarded them out. He rang them up in or, and like cashed it out in order to basically get me the Catalina and then he turned around and acted like he refunded that back you know what I'm saying so there's ways to do everything and this was a manager at that store that did that too so it just all depends upon where you go I guess I say this to say I still had an excellent day that transaction that I'm talking about now uh, where I would have had the minimal issues was at the very end and you know it was fine if he didn't want me to get the pass i could have left him there i would have still ended up with 44 and been completely happy but you know he went ahead and he did it you know so but it, it's just amazing um it's just amazing so like i said i guess i say that to say don't feel discouraged you know if someone tells you no somewhere you can always just go to another store and have completely no issues all right, you guys, if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them below. I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. Go ahead and rate me. And as always, until the next video, peace and blessings.